Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's um been a hot minute <laughs> but it's finally time to do another sketchbook tour and uh oh boy is this one really chaotic or what? Uh I've been working on this since uh June-ish? Time isn't really real for me anymore but it's been over the summer I've been working on this one and uh my friend Lil she drew in this and decorated it and mailed it to me so Thank you, Lil. I'll link her Instagram in the description. Her art is wonderful. So yeah, uh, I've just been having a lot of fun with this sketchbook. I feel like everybody and their dog has kind of been going through creative burnout and I certainly had been. And so I didn't go for anything like technically impressive for this. I was just creating for the sake of creating and it was honestly really refreshing to just kind of have like a no pressure project to be working on. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, oh my goodness, this is uh, lyrics from the Mountain Goats. There's a lot of song lyrics in here. If you recognize them, good on you. I love you. But it's from the Mountain Goats, and I put it on Twitter, and they replied to it, and they were so nice to me. <laughs> uh, a lot of character stuff in here, just like some marker and pen doodles. I did this uh, with acrylic when I'd stayed up for two days in a row on accident and watched the sunrise come up for the second time, and I was like, oh, that's not good, but it is pretty. I love doing acrylic stuff like that. Uh, some marker art. Um, if you know me, you know that uh, I finished my sketchbooks like a freaking maniac. <laughs> uh, I don't really work on them chronologically. Like I start them chronologically, but any page is up for grabs at any time. Like I could completely, I could be vibing with a page up until like a month later and be like, actually, I'm repainting that whole thing. And then I do some Bojack. I've been thinking about Bojack lately, but uh, that's just kind of how I operate. <laughs> Like, I'll start pages chronologically, but then they're just kind of a project until I'm done with them. If you've ever had the misfortune of being around me in person while I work on my sketchbooks, you definitely know this. It's me at a, there's a graveyard near my house that I've been visiting. It's where my great grandma's buried, and so a little thing about that. It's just construction paper. My neighbor gave me a stack of construction paper this thick, and I've been trying to find uses for it. <laughs> more song lyric stuff, some sketches, more construction paper. I've been really into, like, little gel pens lately. Those like paper mate gel pens, the ink joy ones, literally I would die for. I was so stoked to have a use for this uh, Valentine. I've had that for years <laughs> and I thought it kind of went with this page and the specific character. Some more collages. A lot of collages happening in here. A lot of just stuff glued in. Some more glitter. There's me a year ago. Some more character stuff. I couldn't even tell you what medium is down here. I There's so many layers on this little guy. <laughs> And, good lord, some of these pages are just a literal catastrophe to look at. <laughs> but you know what? That's okay. That's just a gesture drawing and stuff. I I don't know. It's just, don't, worry, don't worry about it too much, okay? Some comics. There's a lot of comics in here. I've really been playing around uh, with comics as a medium again. I've always wanted to make comics, right? It's been a big dream of mine ever since I was a kid. I used to make them when I was really little. <laughs> I should do a video of those sometime because they're really funny, but um, I didn't draw that by the way. Um, I've been really getting into them again and I just think they're such a fun medium. Some more collage stuff and brain vomit and I really love this postcard. Those are flowers from my garden too. But um, I like them a lot as a medium just because like, I feel like it's such a good way to get like an emotion or a story across because not only does the art tell a story in the words, but like the way you write the words, how you frame the words, how you frame the art, where you frame the art. Uh, I feel like there's just so many ways that you can really effectively get something across. And I just think it's just really, I don't know, it's just really rewarding for me. And I'd love to like get into doing actual like full-fledged uh, actual i mean all comics are comics but you know what i mean like a narrative or something like a story a web comic sorry it's pretty scary i know I'm crying and shaking myself actually i like my i like nova paper a lot too but yeah here's when i started getting uh more art supplies <laughs> i hadn't restocked on art supplies until about a month ago and so i went a little bit ham uh, my characters this is just mostly alcohol marker here some more unicorn stuff. I got these cute stickers in Philly. Sorry, I'm stuttering. I've never done a talking video before. <laughs> There's Tara from Teen Titans. I love her. This is acrylic. And oh my lord, I really like using acrylics, but the patience it takes drives me kind of crazy. I do love the vibrant colors though. And the texture is really satisfying. I did these when I was watching a Kiki's delivery service for the first time. Some anatomy practice and a general mood. I love those like blue ballpoint pens you get at like the dollar store. I think they're great. 
obligatory seal deer, some little quarantine sketches. I don't really know what's gone. I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> this is a lightning bug. Uh, we went camping and he was just floating on a leaf in like the dead center of the lake. It was very dramatic. We got him to shore. Don't you worry. Some animation stuff. Robin Teen Titans. I, I hate drawing legs. I hate them so much. So I tried to spice up my leg study because I was just not motivated to try and learn. So this is a, this is a ballpoint pen, acrylic, watercolor, and God knows what else I got my paws on and some sharpie for the lyrics. <laughs> some sketches and uh, this is a little scene with ballpoint pen again and watercolor and a little bit of acrylic paint. <laughs> and oh boy, more introspective comics. This is actually a continuation of a comic I found from like four, year four years ago that I actually really liked so I ended up making a little sequel to it. I just used a uh, gel pen and water and I kind of went ham with the water but I I honestly think it works. I'm really mad about it. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you what medium this is anymore. There's like bits of paper and glitter glue and Sharpie and acrylic and everything. Some fellas, some character art. And uh, I got into doing like collages for scenery too. Just like trying to get like the vibe of settings across. <laughs> and so there's some of that later on. Don't really know what's going on here. These pages are kind of a mess. <laughs> Is that? No, there's more. Ah, Neopets. I have been like on a Neopets kick. I found that one document of um all those like accounts that had been like hacked and leaked and like a really long time ago through this like Twitter thread about some kid like hacking and selling people's Neo points for profit. <laughs> And I found my old accounts, and so I've been kind of going ham with it. I don't know if just like the nostalgia kicking in or I'm just really bored, but I've become a Neopets player, so there's that. Love these colors together. It reminds me of Pink Lemonade. Uh, if you've noticed, I kind of layer my doodles. I just, my brain just goes brr, and I just, I don't know. There's a lot of chaos. This is my favorite thing I've ever drawn. I just want you to know. I peeked right there. I peeked. Some more character stuff. Uh... It's just some loose stuff in here too. It's watercolor. I did all my watercolor separately because um, the paper in here just isn't that great for it. It doesn't hold it well. Some more doodles from my friends. I really like these stickers. I think they're so cute. Anything that's like shiny like that, quality. Some character stuff. There's my cat. Is it cat boy? I don't want you to worry about that one too much. Uh, Hannibal. I watched Hannibal and now there's Hannibal in my sketchbook. Oh, Posca pens. This is where I used um, Posca pens for the first time and I love them. I think the colors are so, so vibrant and like crispy and delicious and I really want to get some of my own. I used them when I visited uh, Lil in Philadelphia and like, wow, the colors make me so happy. <laughs> some kind of journaly stuff. This is like so Pinteresty. It's even like on like a paint sample. <laughs> I have no excuses for myself. It's my sketchbook. I can do what I want. More watercolor, one of my characters, a little dude, another little dude. I wanted to like make a character who was like put together with like scraps from a garage. So like there's like a swivel back chair for his back and like a computer tower for the torso and like an old TV. I don't know. <gasps> Mononoke. Oh my, I'm a child. I get excited. By my <laughs> I watched Princess Mononoke for the first time uh, pretty recently. And oh my gosh, I love it so much. It just, it, oh, it made me so happy more alcohol marker stuff really really love gold woman her songs are so pretty this is uh this is watercolor here like the liquid kind love it oh my gosh please don't stick together some more collagey things all sorts of stuff this is also a posca pen here just a little guy and some life drawings character stuff. I, uh, I made this out of sticky notes, if you can tell. Sticky notes and paint marker. There's so much going on on this page. <laughs> this is, um, a little cove that you can find. I live out in the boonies, and so if you walk on the edge of the road long enough, the, oh, the Hannibal page, oh my gosh. 
there's this spot and you can't see it from the road but if you walk through the trees there's like a little lake and like little like cliffs and stuff it's really pretty i yeah these lives rent free in my brain freaking little little guy some more of my characters from the story i'm writing my little son that's just uh again ballpoint pen and uh water to make it look kind of inky more character stuff some little pen sketches i yeah <laughs> more hannibal there's not a lot of pencil in here i'm gonna be real with you my vice as an artist is i don't sketch things out i literally just go ham with a pen i just i i, I pick a god and pray i'm telling you it's so bad it's such a bad habit <laughs> but yeah this is uh that's that's my that's my secret i literally just go for it <laughs> and i need to stop it's a really old character if you know who she is uh i love you in your house but... character stuff i'm still not really happy with this guy's design i'm still trying to figure it out but he, he's allowed some sketchy stuff more sketchy stuff more glitter the fall hype i'm feeling it i like this like yellow line paper i think it's funky here's the setting collage that i was talking about we're just kind of like trying to get a feel for like certain things i've had in mind Ooh, you're just falling out huh that's cool yeah but i like this one a lot i like the vibes sorry my camera's going all over the place i had a, like a 40 minute nosebleed that was really cool <laughs> some more watercolor and some character development stuff oh hello hey there <laughs> more obligatory paint sample art you ever just go to home depot and take like 40 of those because i sure do this picture brings me peace i i love this picture i wish that was me some more alcohol marker stuff uh yeah <laughs> lil drew these this is not my art there's me there's me losing all my blood and there's me having my juice after losing all my blood Another rare pencil sketch, look at that. I got one of those like really fun, like chunky pencils. I don't know if I have it near me, but it's like triangle shaped. Yeah, I do. And I am obsessed with it. Like, it's just so nice to hold. There we are in Philadelphia. Oh, there's more Philadelphia stuff. <laughs> Some more sketches. That is the whole sketchbook. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I definitely had a lot of fun working on this and uh, it was just a nice break from like trying to make things that are, you know, high stakes or like a lot of pressure and just kind of, I mean, create just for the sake of being creative and expressing myself, which feels like the gist of art and that feels like self-explanatory, but I feel like sometimes I get really caught up in like feeling like I need to be improving or like, proving myself as an artist or like making these grand scenes and polished stuff so to be able to just be happy with just drawing for myself was was really relaxing and I think it's just like a nice little time capsule of just kind of my life and where I was at at different parts of it so yeah I I really like it and I hope you guys did too uh, let me know if you guys like the talking over the sketchbook more than the music if not i can go back to being quiet <laughs> yeah so thank you so so much for watching i really appreciate it and i hope you guys take care of yourselves all right bye, -bye.